Well, welcome into Sports Talk at the stadium. Kevin McCrary here at Grove Stadium. What's left of it? You can't. I, that is a stadium behind me. They just turned the lights out. They're about to roll everybody out of the press box here as we hit the now Sunday morning hours here. Uh, an effective rebound for the Tigers. They are coming off their first regular season loss in two years, and they got a win that did a lot of things for them, including win the ACC Atlantic Division and get them back into the ACC Championship game and uh, keep them certainly in the top four next week when the latest college football playoff poll comes out and still in control of their own destiny. Uh, they got off to a great start, scored touchdowns on their first four possessions, like they shot out of a cannon. They really seemed focused, got a little methodical, things bogged down a little bit, and Wake actually scored 13 straight at one point to make it a little closer, at least on the scoreboard. Clemson scored a late touchdown uh, in the fourth quarter, actually about 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Gallman went in for his second score of the day, and the Tigers were in control of this the entire time. So this is what you want if you're Dabo Sweeney. You wanted to get back on the winning side of things. You wanted to stay healthy, which they did in this game. You wanted to clinch the ACC Atlantic Division, which is one of your goals going into the year. And you wanted to uh, feel good again. And I think they did. Dabo Sweeney called it a complete game. The biggest knock, Ray Ray McLeod muffed another punt. We know it's been an adventure for Clemson uh, with Ray Ray McLeod returning punts. He's a dynamic guy back there. There's no question, but he's also a little bit of a liability. And at this point in the season, uh, a muffed punt can cost you a game. Now it's not going to cost you a game against Wake Forest. Clemson's superior to them but when you start getting down into these bigger games that are going to be coming up here uh yeah that could cost you that could certainly cost you in a playoff game uh, we saw last year in the national championship against alabama what special teams or a special teams miscue can do uh, making a special teams play or not making one can be the difference between uh, a championship or not winning a championship so i think artavis scott might be the guy here on out returning punts for Clemson and Ray Ray McLeod will have to wait his turn. Sweeney did say he still thinks McLeod's going to be one of the great punt returners at Clemson. I know Sweeney is known for hyperbole from time to time, but there's no question McLeod is dynamic. I mean, one of the plays that ended up being a blunder for him this year was a punt return that should have been a touchdown that he dropped on the one yard line and ended up being a fumble against uh, Troy. So, you give him the uh, credit for making those kind of plays, but uh, he doesn't have the confidence right now. You just can't afford to have him back there mishandling any punts. Um, outside of that, though, it was a pretty solid effort. The defense didn't even give up 200 yards against Wake Forest. They just absolutely controlled things up front and Wake Forest. It was just a mismatch for the Demon Deacons. So now we look ahead to next week. It's hard to believe we blink and now we've got South Carolina and Clemson, Clemson and South Carolina, however you want to word it, uh, they will be getting together. Uh, Dabo Sweeney already mentioned that they have another big one, another one of their goals, winning the state championship. There is a trophy, the Palmetto Trophy that goes to the winner of that game. So it is a big one for Clemson and it's big for Clemson because they don't have a margin for error now. Uh, they got their mulligan out of the way. They used that against Pitt. They can't lose again. They lose to anybody else between now and the college football playoff, and they're done. That's that. They're going to be going to the Orange Bowl. So they need to um, make sure that they take care of business. They cannot have a letdown. I know the Gamecocks have found life. I think it's incredible that they are six and uh, well, six and five now, but that they got the bowl eligibility. Will Muschamp did a phenomenal job, uh, but I don't think uh, looking at it right now that uh, they're going to have much for this Clemson defense. I really think Clemson has a chance to dominate both lines of scrimmage in that matchup, and that could be a problem. You kind of got a taste of that when South Carolina played Florida last week, and the Gators, even though they were a little dinged up, they control both lines of scrimmage, and Florida is – the second best defense that I've seen this season behind Clemson's uh, Clemson's defensive line they're, uh, they're really their front seven. Uh, they, they've been really good for a while. It seems like every year they just replace guys and uh, they're young up there. When you talk about Wilkins and uh, some of the, they just plug these people in and off they go. And it could be very difficult uh, for a USC offensive line that's had problems pass blocking uh, containing these Tigers, but we'll see. 
We'll see. That's why they play the games. We'll see what the spread's going to be. We'll see what the time's going to be. By the time you're watching this, uh, that might be released. It should be coming out anytime now, and we'll find out. Uh, hopefully, it'll be later, I think. I don't think we're going to get another noon game, but whenever they strap it up, it's going to be a packed house, and it's going to be the biggest game, uh, college football game in our state, as it is each and every year, and it's going to mean something, uh, which is cool when it means something. For both teams, it always means something. But you know, Clemson's playing for a chance to stay alive in the national championship race. South Carolina is trying to get relevant and, and say they're back or trying to get back. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's nice uh, to be talking about two teams that are at least playing pretty good football right now. Much different than it was this time a year ago. Another interesting thing that happened tonight was Deshaun Watson, and I posted the stories at sportstalksc.com. You can listen to the comments yourself, but Deshaun Watson did uh, kind of sort of say, hey, you know, maybe this isn't my last game. We'll see. You never know what's going to happen. Um, his last game in Death Valley, because he was asked to talk about that. And we all know that Deshaun Watson's going to the NFL. I think he knows he's going to the NFL, but uh, he definitely gave some Clemson fans uh, a little glimmer of hope and some excitement uh, boy, that would be an early Christmas present. And no, I don't think there's any chance that he returns to Clemson. But I guess I have to give him more of a chance to return now than I did before he said those things. And I encourage you to listen uh, to those comments. But no, Deshaun Watson's going to ride off into the sunset and go pro. But uh, nothing shocks me anymore. I think we've seen enough crazy things happen. Uh, in the past few weeks that nobody thought would happen. So I, I'm at the stage now where I don't even know what to believe. But I, I certainly would be absolutely stunned if Deshaun Watson came back. But uh, listen to the comments. I posted the audio in its entirety leading up to it. So there's no taking them out of context. And you can hear everything as lights continue to turn off in the press box around me. They might have locked me in here. I might be here till the next time Clemson plays in Winston-Salem. So the Tigers get it done. They are ACC Atlantic champs. Fifth time they've won this division uh, in the ACC in the past eight years. So Dabo Sweeney, uh, another 10-win season for the Tigers. Uh, he has said, these are the glory days in Clemson football. This uh, is the good time. So people look back on uh, the golden era of Clemson football. He says, this is what they're going to talk about. And boy, his numbers are making a pretty strong case. we got another big one coming up next week, another busy show. Uh, by the way, call the Sports Talk what the phone line if you want to make a prediction on the game. I've got that number posted in this story, so you can go and make your pick, make your jokes, anything you want. Leave a message there on that number, and we will play it. Uh, we're going to have a special segment on our Thanksgiving show, and we'll play them throughout the week. So call that number and give us your take. Tell us what you think about the Palmetto Bowl coming up this week or game week, Clemson, South Carolina. Appreciate you checking us out here at Sports Talk at the stadium.